And welcome back to Flexible Games, where we are playing Gunsmith. Okay, our uh, our NATO round maker is just it's going gangbusters. It's great because uh, there's a lot of interest in NATO rounds. So, ooh, Ventus, combat trousers, shiny, no. Yeah, see NATO bullets here. Um, Jer Ooh, Jerry wants some gloves? I'll give you some gloves. Uh, we got to do the 45s too, the 45 caliber. Uh, Ventus. We're going to redo the 22 long rifles as well. But Major, you can go away. Ventus trousers. You want some trousers, huh? Well, let me kickstart the trouser line, which I think, there it is. Okay, now we need a lot more brass production. So I think what I'm gonna do is basically increased brass production quite a bit. Um, how do we want to do this? I'm gonna try to do this without without too much of a problem. Uh, brass roll dispenser. Let's do five there. Trying not to like make this make them all like interrupt one another. So one, two, three, four, five. So I'm gonna need a whole lot of recycle bins as well. And uh, some some belts. So And how about some or recycle bins? Close that off. And on this side, instead of doing an even, you know, very symmetrical design, which we've discovered does not work very well, I am gonna do this. That way, it's asymmetric, and it still is able to output. And I don't think any of these were on a line. So let's do line control. Let's do a plus on that. Line group nine, we're gonna add So this is going to be brass plate one. And yeah, 100 things, that's fine. And we want output brass sheet. I guess I called it plate, but it is what it is. And then all these. Okay, let's just double check. All those things are set. Good. Line control. These are not in alphabetical, but rather like placement. Order of operation, basically. It's okay, I'm going to power you guys on. And then I'm going to go to the market and get some brass rolls. Boink. They should all now be working on brass rolls. It's weird that these two were first. What are you guys doing? You're taking your sweet time outputting, aren't you? Why is this not outputting? Oh, there he goes. Weird. 
Okay, so now... You can see they're actually able to craft faster than they're able to output, which is why I wanted so many of these. Because um, even though we don't have the throughput for that, I still would like them to process what we got and then output everything else. And then as I add brass sheets or brass rolls, um, they'll just sit and, you know, process all of the things that they need. So yeah, that should give us lots and lots of brass. Uh, if we look at this, we've used about half of what we had in store. Okay, so the system here, oh, you got a lot of gun cotton. Um, how are we doing over here on gun cotton? We got 52, so that's... That's not bad. So I want to redo this line in the same vein as I did this line here. We got a little bit of space here. I might be able... Ooh, we got these giant... What are these things? Like, what are these supposed to be? Giant things in the way. So I might have to bring them down and then go up and then use this space for boxing and processing all of the 22 rounds. So this is effectively shut down now. So I can turn this off. All everything's closed down, which is what I wanted. Um, now the output, what is this making? Boots. Okay, so the boxer I'm going to take this, put it way over here. Take this way over here. This thing. Okay, now this thing, this thing, all of the things. And it looks like we need to heat it. Shake, shake. We're going to try to optimize this line very much the same that we did before. We need to shake it again before we extrude. Okay, now one of these. One of these. And a bunch of belt. All the belt. Oh, there's another incline. Those are those are handy. I want to make sure I reuse those because I'd really not be able to use them anywhere else. Uh, okay, we kind of backed ourselves into a corner over here, but it is what it is. A lot of people. A lot of people have have requested a, a click and drag area of effect, so I could just you know they've requested that you can just drag over a bunch of machines and move them all at once, which I understand completely now. The desire for that. Uh, okay, so cookbook. These are twenty two. There they are. Okay, so we have. We have this guy here. Uh, I kind of want to keep those. Oh, I actually placed that right in line. So this, we don't need to heat it before, but we do need to shake them. So we need to output this and immediately split it. Like so. And then shake it which we could do in parallel you know basically have like one of these here and one of these here could do that but from shaking we go to extruding and these machines as you know cannot be placed right next to one another so it would 
it would be beneficial for us to actually um, offset these a little bit. Okay, so this one can go straight out here. But this one I need, I'm going to need to offset it. And how much am I going to need to offset it? Not much. Not much at all. So let's take you and you. Oh, let's move you like that. Now, from shaking to extruding. Like that. And then, cap former, which is this machine. So this machine can take all of the things, which means we can merge, we can merge the lines from here on out. So, from here, I'm gonna go one more out, because I might want a second one of these. Second, a second one of these setups here. Double the number of bullets that I would be producing all at once. So I need to heat one, cool one. Now let's get the shakers out of there. Okay, let's just run through this one more time. Uh, okay, I did this wrong. Because I don't have the... <laughs> I don't have the punchers over here. That's where I was like, this is not looking right. For some reason, it's just, it is not looking right. And yeah, that would be why I'm missing a step. Like, really important step. Uh, so you is that how I did it over here pretty much uh, but I don't know if I have enough room to do that because if we look at where that cuts off yeah see these are the these are the punchers here uh, so hmm that's going to be a tricky. So let's get this. Let's get you snuggled in there. You snuggled in there. And then I need the place these right this time. Like so. Okay. Now that they're punched, I can't believe I missed that step. That would have been bad. Now I need to shake them. So they need to be inclined. From here. What am I doing? Ooh, I don't think we are going to be able to maneuver back there. Yeah, we're not going to be able to maneuver back there. So we're going to need to move you out. Maybe to here. So all of the things need to move out now. I knew that I was gonna. I knew it was a little too. A little, snuggled a little too close to the wall. I was trying to save space, but of course. Oh. You and you and you. Oh, that's not even going to work. Um, hmm. I just, it's hard for me to organize this stuff when I've got 6,000 machines sitting over here. Let's move those up here. Okay. 
I might be able to do this. No, it would have to be like there. No, it would have to actually be there. Like that. But of course... Bullet puncher, finally got that. Then the shaker. Oh, I just... I wish I could flip these a different way. Because this... This back here is really where it's tough. Because I have to go basically this way with it. And that really eliminates my ability to, you know, do this. I can't, obviously can't do that. I mean, I could merge these and have just one shaker, but then I would need another splitter, which is a ginormous machine. Um, so I think I'm going to have to actually move this out even more. I mean, I've got room for another setup there, but I was hoping to have a lot more room set up there. Something like this, and then no, that's not gonna work. The shaker is way too big for that. Okay, move this out. A lot of wasted space back here because of those, these giant, whatever those are supposed to be. They're really in my way. Okay, now I can move these out here like that. And that is where they can merge up. So if I take this, and then one of these, and one of these, now I can heat it, and cool it, and then a shake again. Really? Another shake? that bring that out okay so I need to shake it after I heat it and cool it so we're extruded here heated cool it shaker so we need to up and shake and there there we go right out for the sh oh ooh almost almost messed that up we need another heater right there. So they're shaken, heated, and then pop. They're in the cap former, which is beautiful. And then from there, we got the primer, uh, which is, I just want to make sure I'm not going crazy. Uh, let's snuggle you right in. Why? Why can't I place that closer? Like, why can't I place that right there? Where did I put this one? Oh, yeah, it's, it is definitely offset. So, this is definitely offset, like... Oh. Come on. Like that. Uh, I need, let's not grab the belt from, <laughs> from where I'm at. And then a, I need my chemical dispenser. Kind of want to get this guy sideways. I don't want to take up too much space. And then I need another belt. Right. Wrong kind of belt. 
Uh, a small one and a small one, please. Actually, it's once, yeah. Uh, I don't suppose I could. No. Wow, that is. How do I do it over here? Huh. There. Just mirror what I did there. So this is gun cotton. We've already got lots of gun cotton out here. Uh, how is this thing doing for gun cotton? Ooh, you're you're not. We don't have any gun cotton. How many bullets do you have? Fifty-five. And what are you guys doing? You're not doing anything. Why? Uh, what what happened to all my gun cotton? Did I use all that up already? I must have. Uh, let's do 100 of that, 100 of that. It's using quite a bit of money. Okay. So, all of these things. Uh, we're going to come out here. Why is that the extruder? There we go. Brushy. Really? Those things are... Oh, I need to turn this off and this off. That, those brass sheets were... I just blew through like 600 of those things. Are you guys done outputting? You are. Wow, uh, brass sheets. I can never get a good buy price on these. It's so rare to have decent buy. Oh, I've got more orders. Okay, camel gloves, you can get sold. You can get sold. And I can turn my trousers off because that's definitely something I can do. <laughs> I got way more pants than I'll ever need. Uh, okay, so all of these things. And I need to move this. And we're going to need another setup just like it. So let's get some of these belts ready to go. Okay. Because I want again to double this lineup, and that might not be enough space. No, I don't think it's enough space. We need uh, probably another half like that. I look at the floor tiles and see how much space we have. Okay, so bullet extruder, no, puncher, we need the punchers. And shaker here. Incline shaker. Shaker. Then we need the extruder. Which I'm pretty sure it's here. 
Okay. Now we can merge them. In. Together. And everything will go in here. And everything will be happy. So happy. Okay. Let's uh, add... Make sure all of that is good. Otherwise, we'll be running these, running this equipment, and it'll just pile up in our inventory all the things that we cannot do. Uh, all of that is good. Those are all good, so we're we're fine with that. And that's not going to be called nine millimeter ammo. This is going to be. 22 LR ammo. We are a long ways away from uh, from the nine mil ammo here. So there's that one. And then that one. Well, I don't really know. That. And then end of line. I need a, a longer one of these. There we go. Okay, I think this line is ready for action. Do we have enough power to run it? I think we do. Let's turn her on. Come on, crafting. There we go. The bullet's starting. Oh my god. Did I not set? Okay, this is... 22. 22. There. That, you know... Works a little bit better when you actually have the recipes set up in there. There's a lot of bullets coming in here now. Oh man, something isn't something isn't right. Uh, turn it off. This, this count isn't going up. Something isn't right. If we look at our resources. Uh, yeah. <laughs> 716 LR extruded. Not sure how to fix that. I gotta look at my cookbook, but that's gonna have to do it for this episode. I thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.